In this section, we will overview a risk innovation case study where we will do a deep dive into the Tom Shoe Company and what went wrong with their famous one-to-one -one model. Most of you are probably familiar with the story. They were originally founded in 2006 and Tom's became immensely popular with American consumers drawn to their brand's business model for social good. Simply put, for every pair of Tom's shoes purchased, the company would donate one pair to a developing country. However, after about seven years, the brand started attracting criticism from NGOs and academics examining for-profit philanthropy, and while the one-to-one -one model sounded like a good idea, critics argued that the company and the model did little to target the more fundamental roots of global poverty. Criticism grew over the brand's philanthropic arm entirely, and as these studies showed, communities receiving aid from Tom's Shoes benefited little from their involvement and sometimes actually experienced more harm than help from these interventions. Others argued that local textile and manufacturing communities were destroyed by the introduction of Tom's shoes, as local merchants were displaced because their loyal customers had no need for locally produced shoes once they had Tom's. As media coverage increased, Time Magazine and others called for a reconsideration of how Western countries gave a directly attacking the one-to-one -one model introduced by Tom's shoes. And looking back, hindsight's always 2020, but we are still left wondering, how could Tom's shoes not have seen this coming? So in order to unpack that question a little bit, what we're going to be doing is looking at a risk innovation landscape for Tom's. And if you haven't already, make sure to watch that introductory video to learn how to map your own orphan risks. And so on the left, what you're going to find are your stakeholder groups in blue, as well as their values underneath them in gray. And then on the bottom, you're going to find the three domains of risks with the middle containing the actual orphan risks themselves. And so for this case study, we are looking at the impact on the community in this row who are obviously those affected by the decisions of the enterprise and investors. And in this case, uh, contains the developing countries and their communities receiving shoes. There's two uh, real standout orphan risks in this row that were overlooked and forgotten in Tom's shoes one-to-one -one model were risks around social justice and also equity and geopolitics. By not researching and understanding contextually relevant solutions to the complex questions of poverty, Tom's Shoes overlooked the seemingly simple steps of learning and evaluating what the communities actually needed and instead what we would consider to be the values from the risk innovation nexus's end, the community would have really been valuing philanthropy and successful poverty interventions. And so you can look at this activity and some of our other ones on our website. So what happened after all of this public fallout? While the impacts of the one-to-one -one controversy affected many socially conscious enterprises, Tom's Shoes was one of the worst affected in the public spotlight. In response, Tom's Shoes began to switch its model from sending outside shoes to developing countries to funding manufacturers local to each country that would produce the shoes themselves. Still, Tom's Shoes continued to send outside shoes to developing communities, creating a surplus of Western shoes that continued to affect local economies. This fallout had serious effects on the reputation of trust and the socially good brand identity their consumers associated it with. And so could this have been all avoided? And while there's no way to circumvent all types of risks, Tom's Shoes may have been able to sidestep this pitfall by learning about the communities they intended to serve. Had the one-to-one -one model ever truly met community needs? By asking questions like, do we know how our actions affect the communities we're serving? And have we engaged community members and experts in our planning process? Tom's could have better used its philanthropic model to serve communities at every stage. So thinking about your own company and organization, how could you address and anticipate risks around geopolitical and social justice issues and maintaining trust with your customers? Start with small steps and plan on how you can better serve your communities through informed decisions both now and as you continue to grow. And the more we learn from these kinds of case studies, the more we can identify and anticipate these risks from harming the enterprise and the communities that we intend to serve.